Earlier this month, the governor called for aggressive enforcement of people out in public not wearing masks. Initially, law enforcement statewide focused more on educating people about masks instead of writing $100 tickets. So, has anything changed? News 13's Rebecca Atkins is live from home with some answers. Well, Jess, many departments that we spoke with earlier this month were deferring mask enforcement to state police, but just this week, BCSL gave out their first citation. I'm for it. I know one of my deputies cited somebody just a, a few days ago for not having a mask. So, uh, you know, we do the best we can, but our focus right now, you know, people want uh, a response. They want fundamental law enforcement right now. It happened Tuesday on the west side. According to the citation, a 34-year-old man was acting suspiciously in a neighborhood near Unser and Delvin. When deputies were questioning him, they say he got an attitude. They noticed he was violating the public health order by not wearing a face mask, so they cited him. State police tells us they've issued one citation related to face covering violations. That citation was issued to a business, Delta Tire, in grants. Now, since July 3rd, state police has issued 10 citations for other issues related to the public health order, not related to face masks. Those citations are for things like having too many people inside a business or operating a business when they're not allowed. Back to you. All right. Thank you, Rebecca. As of today, APD has not written any citations. Earlier this month, the city announced it was giving the power to write citations to 75 non police officers, including security guards and fire marshal employees. No word how many, if any, citations they've issued.